Hello friends, welcome to Techstar Cell. In this video, we will make a smart water level indicator using the ESP32 and Arduino IoT Cloud. Here we have used waterproof ultrasonic sensor to measure the water level but you can use any other ultrasonic sensor, it will measure the water level and you can monitor it on the OLED. And if the ESP32 is connected with the Wi-Fi, you can monitor the water level on Arduino IoT remote app from anywhere in the world. You can also use this same circuit as a theft alarm or motion detector whenever the ultrasonic sensor sends any object within the range the buzzer will start. And here you can see I have made the complete circuit on the zero PCB with the help of this PCB layout which you can download from the description. So after watching the complete video anyone can make this project. So before going to the details let me give you a quick demo. Here you can monitor the water level percentage 47%. We can also monitor it on the Arduino IoT remote app and this is the distance. Now if the water level increase we can monitor the percentage reading on the OLED and above 100% the buzzer will start so the tank is full. We can reset the buzzer from this reset button. Now if the water level decrease Again, we can monitor the value on the OLED and below 10% again the buzzer will start and we can also manually reset the buzzer with this push button. Let me reset the buzzer and again if the water level will increase, we can monitor the value on the OLED and if the internet is connected, we can monitor it on the Arduino IoT cloud and this is the distance between the sensor and the water level. For this project, I have designed this PCB using the Altium PCB designer software. Now Altium came up with an amazing product called Altium 365. Altium 365 is an electronic product design platform that unites PCB design, MCAD, data management and teamwork. With Altium 365, you can not only design PCBs but you can also share your projects to your teammates for review. It also provides automatic backup, centralized cloud storage, and a lot more. And if you are a student, you can also enroll Altium Student Lab for free to get access to Altium 365, online PCB design courses, and after completing the course, you will also get certificate of completion from Altium. And there are other key benefits, so I will highly recommend you to visit the Altium Student Lab. You can find the link in the description, then enroll with your university email ID. It's a great opportunity for the student and it's also a great initiative from Altium to accelerate your skill in electronics design. These are the required components for this project. You can either use this SR04 ultrasonic sensor or you can also use this waterproof ultrasonic sensor as we are going to use this sensor inside the water tank. Now we have to connect all these components as per this circuit diagram. In this circuit, if you use AC to DC converter, then you can directly give AC supply to this circuit. Otherwise, you have to give 5 volt DC supply. Here I have used waterproof ultrasonic sensor as we are going to use this circuit inside a water tank. But if you want to use this circuit as theft alarm or for object detection, then you can also use this type of ultrasonic sensor. The circuit is very simple, you can easily make it on the zero PCB with the help of this PCB layout. You can download it from our website iotcircuithub.com, link is in description. Then cut the zero PCB according to the dimension mentioned on the layout. Then stick the top layout on the zero PCB and place all the components according to the layout. Then with the help of bottom layout, you can easily connect and solder all the components as per the circuit. After soldering, I will connect the ESP32 OLED and as I said, you can use this ultrasonic sensor or you can also use waterproof ultrasonic sensor. Now we will connect the ESP32 with a laptop for programming. This is the Arduino sketch for this project. Let me open it with Arduino ID. You can download this sketch from our website iotcircuithub.com. You can find the link in the description. Just visit the article then download the code from that article. 
for this project i have used this version of the esp32 you have to install this version then you have to install these libraries whenever you try to install adreno iot cloud library it will ask you to install all the dependency please make sure install all the dependency related to adreno iot cloud while installing this library or updating this library then here you have to enter the wi-fi name or wi-fi ssid then wi-fi password after that you have to enter device id and secret key we have to get it from adreno iot cloud so let me open google chrome and open our adreno iot cloud account you can find a link from the description let me click on get started for free then i will log in if you don't have any account you have to create an account first let me log into my account so first we will create a thing so i will click on create new then select thing then let me rename the thing as esp32 project you can give any other name now first let me associate a device so i will just click on this button then select a device i've already added devices in my previous video first let me select a device esp32 relay i will use this device for this project now if you don't have any device in your adreno iot cloud you just have to click here go to device then click on this plus icon to add new device then select third party device select esp32 select the model in this case do it esp32 dev kit then click on continue give a name to this device then click on next you will get device id and secret key for your device it will ask you to download the pdf as you will not get this secret id later on you have to access the secret id from the pdf so here i am already using the existing device so i will not create any new device now again i will go to thing then this is our thing esp32 project and this is our device id and secret key let me copy the device id first then i will paste it here then i will copy paste the secret key now this is the most important part of this project you have to modify this value according to your requirement now empty tank distance is the distance between the water level and the sensor when the tank is completely empty and the full tank distance is the distance between the water level and the sensor when the tank is full so measure this distance in centimeter then enter the value here accordingly now if you use waterproof ultrasonic sensor the full tank distance must be greater than 25 centimeter that is the limitation of this waterproof ultrasonic sensor it cannot measure the distance below 25 centimeter so make sure place the sensor accordingly inside the tank and the esp32 will only measure the distance if the value is between these two value now the trigger percentage is a percentage value here in this code it is 10 percent you can make it 20 percent 5 percent according to your requirement then we have to configure the adno iot cloud according to this init property function here you can see we have to make three variable water level percentage water distance and buzzer state and the first two variable are read variable and the last one is read write so let me go to our adreno iot cloud thing first let me copy this name this is this should be the variable name then go to adreno iot cloud add a cloud variable enter the name then i will select the variable type so let me select int number then this is a read only and i will face the value after every two seconds here you can see in the code read variable and after every two seconds i will face the reading now i will just click on add variable now again i will click on add then for the next variable i will copy this name water distance in the variable type i will select string then again it is a read only then periodically after every two seconds i will face the reading now i will add the last variable again let me go to the code and this is the variable name let me copy it and this is a read write variable so let me go to the name enter the variable name select the variable type boolean then variable permission read write and 
here i will select on change click on add variable so our tree variable is ready and this is our device i've explained the complete code line by line in the article if you go through the article you will understand everything in details still if you have any query you can always ask in the comment section now let me upload this post to esp32 board so let me select the com port first then let me search for the board do it esp32 dev kit v1 now let me click on upload button while the code is getting uploaded let me configure the Arduino IT Cloud dashboard so let me click on here then select dashboard click on this plus icon now i will click on add first i will see the percentage let me select the gauge then give the name then click on link variable select the thing and click on water level percentage then link variable and here i will enter the value range minimum 0 maximum 100 then click on done then again i will add the water distance variable so here i will just see the value so i will select value is it here i will enter the name water distance if you use this circuit as object detection or theft alarm then name the variable accordingly again i will link the variable water distance and now i will add the last visit which is a push button just to reset the buzzer whenever the buzzer will start to reset it we can use this push button reset buzzer variable should be buzzer state then i will select link variable click on done so our dashboard is also ready now after programming here you can see the percentage value on the oled if i move the sensor you can see the percentage is changing now let me open the google play store then i have to search for adreno iot remote iot remote by adreno let me open the app then this is our things esp32 project so we can also monitor the dashboard from mobile phone you can find all the details in the article link is in description if you find this video helpful then please hit the like button share it with your friends don't forget to subscribe for more such videos. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.